Hey guys, welcome to episode number 364. Today is Wednesday, so it's DIY Wednesday, and it's way too hot outside today to build anything, so I decided to draw something instead. This is the schematic for my off the grid aquaponic system. I've been thinking about it for a while and now I've essentially got a diagram here for all of the pieces I need to buy and how I'm going to hook it up. So I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about all of the different components here and the different design decisions that I made to keep this as simple and affordable as possible. Um, now the goal of this is not to grow uh, a large volume of vegetables it's really to uh, act as a prototype for potentially a larger system down the road so everything here is sort of uh, as minimal as possible while still proving out um, you know the proof of concept so we start with a 55 gallon barrel which is sort of the heart of the system uh, I'll probably start with one but I'll I might expand it to two or three as time goes on and uh, if you guys haven't followed uh, Rob Bob. Rob Bob has a great aquaponics and hydroponics channel on YouTube and this barrel essentially is his 55 gallon chop and flip system. He made a great video on how to construct one of these. Uh, hopefully I will be constructing one of these soon but essentially what he does is he takes a 55 gallon drum and cuts about the top uh, foot to 14 inches off of that barrel and then flips it over and puts it back on top of the same barrel and then you can zip tie that top in place and once you've done that you've essentially created your grow media chamber up top and then you have your water chamber uh, down below and the only way you're going to get into this chamber is if you cut sort of an access port uh, into the side of that barrel you don't want to cut it too large because it will compromise the structural integrity of the barrel but uh, just one little port on the front it would be plenty to reach your arm in there and uh, scoop out anything you need to or add anything that you need to uh, to that so uh, with that uh, what I'm planning on using is a uniseal I believe Rob Bob used a bulkhead uh, I will be using a bell siphon, just a traditional bell siphon, and I will be using the clay hydrogen media uh, as my media of choice here. Moving down below, you can see we've got a high water mark and a low water mark. Uh, this is a flood and drain system, so this water pump down here, the 12 volt DC water pump, uh, it's probably going to be around 150 gallons per hour, um, depending on the head height loss. But this pump will be running 24 hours a day, slowly pumping and filling this media chamber. When that media chamber gets all the way up to the top, full of water, it's going to activate this bell siphon and all of that water is going to evacuate back down into the bottom of this chamber. Really simple, really straightforward. There's almost no moving parts involved in that and uh, that should be a very low tech and reliable method for uh, growing some plants up top and uh, maybe growing some fish or crayfish or something else down below. Now, how am I going to power this? Now most people would probably just plug this into um, some sort of power that's running from the house or the garage. I'm going to go completely off the grid so the other component to this is how I'm going to power it. Um, and the one thing, the main thing that needs power is this water pump. I could also add an air pump uh, to get some aeration in there as well um, but for this diagram all I have listed here is the water pump so we move over to my 100 watt 12 volt DC solar panel uh, these kits are pretty cheap on Amazon uh, I'm gonna pick one up and I'm gonna attach it to a tree uh, sort of facing in the southerly position to try to capture as much sunlight as possible um, I do live in a fairly shady area so uh, I'm not going to get direct sunlight all day long so this is actually oversized uh, this should probably be able to run two maybe three of these water pumps so uh, I have planned a little bit of redundancy in here I did want to make sure that that water pump was always going to be able to run 24 hours a day so that 
runs down into what we have here, which is the dry box. This is where all of my electronics and wires and components and batteries are going to be stored. Um, so this could just be a flip top dry box and uh, you flip that open and you've got the 12 volt line running in here and going into a solar charger. And this is a really important part of this diagram. It only costs about $10, but what it allows you to do is sort of track um, how much uh, power you're creating and it's very simple. What it does is um, it first gives the load to whatever uh, devices you have plugged in. So in this case the water pump. So if I'm generating any sort of electricity from the solar panel, the first thing it's going to do is go to the load. It's going to operate this pump. Um, after that, if there's any excess power, it's going to dump it into this battery and it's going to be a 12 volt battery. It's going to be a marine like deep cycle battery that you would see on a boat or something like that. And that battery is going to be large enough so that I can store uh, at least a 24 hour charge so that if I get into a cloudy day situation um, I will continuously run this pump but instead of getting its power from the solar panel it will draw from the battery and the reason this is important the solar charger is important is because it's basically splitting the load it's first powering your device and then it's dumping the rest of the power into the battery and when one of those things is full it's going to basically shut off so it won't overcharge the battery uh, it'll just tell the it'll just shut off the connection here and uh, the solar panel won't uh, be generating any electricity at that point. So just a little safety switch basically here uh, is the 12 volt solar charger. So that is the complete system in a nutshell. Again, I could add a air pump to this. Um, I have oversized the battery and the solar panel so I could add a second barrel, maybe even a third barrel to a system like this. But again, this is just the quick plan, the quick schematic. Um, I do have a bunch of these items either already here or on the way. So hopefully once it cools down a little bit, I will be able to put this together and I'll shoot a video then. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.